Today I'm putting timing chains on a, another two liter here. Very, very common job, do it all the time. Um, just making a quick video showing you something. On some of these later model ones, they cut this groove here, right where the lower timing cover goes. I'm sorry, my light's terrible. But over this, you can see this groove cut right in the ceiling surface right here. That's because they're having problems with these leaking. Um, I, I see a lot of times timing chains that, you know, were just replaced on these and they replace the lower timing cover and it's leaking everywhere. Um, it's, it's very, very, very common. Here's a new cover I'm going to be sticking on there. What my advice would be and what I've had good luck with in the past is getting some, some scotch Bright or something like this, a scuff pad and just scuffing this whole surface on the, on the brand new one before you install it, before you put sealant on it. So you want to make sure this is of course, you know, bone dry, use a brake clean, let it dry off, wipe it, make sure the sealing surface is really nice and clean, scuff this entire entire sealing area put your silicone on it i actually use the factory um black sealant this is what uh this is what this is what audi specifies you know you can use whatever honestly you'll be fine if you just use some uh generic you know permatex or something like that just something that's for this application black silicone and uh yeah so that's it i would say scuff this up real nice and you won't have a problem so the earlier ones didn't have this groove cut in it. This is something that kind of came later. When they don't have the groove in them, it's even more um, vital that you do that. Uh, those are the ones that are more prone to leaking. These ones, not as much, but I, I do it anyways, just to kind of stop that from, stop, you know, cause that's a pretty big pain when that happens. So that's all. Thanks for watching.